Hello, my soccer universe for the last qualification recap and draw analysis for the European uh, qualifiers. We're we'll be talking about the Conference League this time around. That's the big tournament. And this is where there's real jeopardy because if you get eliminated, you are out. And boy, are there many, many games, especially round two. There are almost, I think, a 36 or uh, somewhere dead pairings and elimination 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 what's even worse is that you know if you start in champions league qual qualifying you go in round one you go straight into round two of conference league qualifying so there's no europa league uh fall back you're out if you're out and quite a few that got there um but it's also the most interesting part i gotta say now uh I have made multiple community posts on uh, conference league qualifying. Uh, so for the first few rounds, I won't want to mention much except for uh, two teams that are here. Basel got already eliminated in round two and Austria Vienna, who actually made a good run, uh, beat Banja Luka and then uh, actually had an away win at Lega Warsaw, but then an absolute mad, mad, mad return leg. Uh, they were already limited. They were three 0 down. They fight themselves back. They got it level. Uh, it was two three down, which meant overtime. Then in um, then um, Legia, I think in the eighty eighth, again took the lead. It's four two. Austria Vienna with a man down at the point. Get an over an aggregate e e equalizer. Uh, it is four three Legia Warsaw. Would have meant overtime, and then in the ninety eighth minute. Uh, they concede another one, 3-5, an absolutely mad game. Um, kind of epitomized their um, campaign defensive frailties and they probably should have won by a bigger scoreline in Warsaw because they, they were really good. The home leg, defensively, they were atrocious. But it was overall a fun game to watch. And yes, I will probably, since I've seen the Austrian games, this is where my focus will lie on in this video, but I will mention a few more. We will go straight into uh, the playoffs, I would say, and look at the uh, results from the return leg. Uh, we see a Bran, another big story. They uh, beat Aruka from Portugal. Uh, they only lost to AZ on penalties. AZ had a really, really hard time quad qualifying them. So that, that, that's a big result. Whereas the other Dutch team was steamrolled by Fenerbahce. Uh, we also have Bode uh, getting in. Uh, that, that was a big one. The Romanian champions were in by the Finnish champions, uh, HJK, uh, which are again up in a European group stage. Breda Blick, as I said, they won the Champions League pre-qualifying tournament that they hosted. They made it all the way into the qualifying playoff uh, uh, for the Conference League and they made it to the groups, the first Icelandic teams team to do so. Uh, second one, Pauk, the team that I'm wearing here, relatively easy and comfortable over hearts. That I did not expect, but I'm very, very pleased with that one. Um, another one, Besiktas against Indian Mokiva. That sounds almost like Champions League or more Europa League. Dynamo Kiev out, it has not been a good qualifying campaign for uh, Ukrainian teams because also Dnipro are in, eliminated by Spartak Trnava. Ferenc Varsh after getting out by Klaxvik then actually went actually quite easily through a conference qualifying and 7-0 aggregate score over Jalgiris. From that was actually a tie of two league champions uh, overall. And then the last one, they're probably the most interesting. I mean, Rapid against Fiorentina. That was a really hard uh, battle because Rapid dominated the first half of the first game, had a 1-0 lead. And then they held out for the second half to, you know, hold on, hold on, but they held on to the lead. Second game, Fiorentina had had more chance. Were, 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 were the better team, but the Rapid held their own. Nico Gonzalez uh, scores the equal as an aggregate and then they get a very, very questionable penalty to, yes, deservedly go through. And, you know, I had split because I really want Fiorentina to be in there, but on the other side, uh, Rapid making it would have been really good for Austrian football. Rapid already, um, you know, looked looks like a really good team at the moment. Uh, in all Austria, I think they could have done some damage there as well. So, you know, one side, yeah. Fiorentina, but while I don't like Rapid, it would have been good for also, also Austria. But that penalty decision was a real, real, real downer. 
gerade 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 bis jetzt. Um, Lil awesome in only in overtime over Rijeka despite holding an away lead. So uh, no, I return like lead. Lil also only needed overtime against Rijeka to qualify to, to, to qualify. No, not easy. Osasuna, the team that you know. Here's my new Osasuna jersey. I bought it more or less for the the Conference League. Got a really hard draw, and another story here is that they needed to fight to be in this conference league because UEFA, in one of the most stupid decisions, and I beg you to dig deeper. Uh, yes, there was match fix fix fixing, but it was the current leadership that said this was wrong. They really worked hard to get this cleaned up. They actually uh, said to the courts in Spain. You know, this was not right. There was something, 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 something wrong. They pay, paid for that. And then UEFA comes back 10 years later. This seems so unfair. And I was happy that Osasuna was cleared to play by the um, um, arbitration court uh, there. And then they got the hard draw with Club Bruges, where, yeah, they lost at home. They had a 2 0 lead in Bruges, but Club Bruges pulled, pulled it back. Levski played Eintracht uh, Frankfurt, you know, um, which was kind of an honorable exit for them, of course. Also not so pretty scenes off the, off the pitch, but over, overall I think it was a good showing for uh, the uh, team from Sofia, the team that my wife ec ec actually supports, but I, I, will, I will be a bit surprised if they um, eliminate Frankfurt, Aston Villa. There was a suggestion that they should make an honorable exit against Hips. Uh, just, you know, don't bother with the robot. Estimate said, you know what? We have Una M. Emery, who is the expert in European competitions. 8 nil on aggregate. Then uh, Lega Warsaw uh, won over mid -Uland. So that is a big name team that got eliminated as uh, well. And Nordjylland uh, make their maiden voyage uh, um, Austin Partizan. Give you here the pods for the group stage. As I said, this draw completely passed me by because of tra uh, or of trailing. So I'm digesting it here with you. When I look overall at, at the group, before we look at the direct impacts here, it really seems that Park and Eintracht Frankfurt, that's a very interesting group. I was saying AZ Aston Villa is in interesting. Uh, Fiorentina actually, I think, lucked a little bit out. It's notable that probably the two favorites uh, for this uh, of this lot, Aston Villa and Fiorentina were only in pot two. Uh, Lille, I think, also got a very, very favorable draw overall. But let's kind of assess. Uh, and also, Fenerbahce Bar Bar against Ludogorets, you know, Turkey, Bulgaria, kind of neighboring states. I also find that interesting. Let's look at the overall impacts, and you see Lille happy. Uh, everyone in Group A more or less happy. There's also Klaxvik in there making it uh, Dinamo Zagreb, um, that group, Group C is happy. Group D seems to be a really tough on Club Rouge, both vertically in Bejiktas and Lugano. Uh, group B, also everyone kind of a little bit happy. And then, yeah, we said already, Az, Aston Villa, Legia and Sarinski, who got ousted by Lusk. That's a very interesting group as well. Ferenc Vaz will sh for sure not be happy. And you see, Group G is kind of all even Stevens and so is kind of Group H. Overall favorites. <coughs> Aston Villa, Fiorentina, Eintracht, Lille, I think those are the top four. And like with the Europa League, the Conference League has always been won by a team that actually started in there. So um, while someone from the Europa League might make it through there, I think it's quite likely that we see another one of those. Um, let me put it out there, Aston Villa against Eintracht Frankfurt. But yeah. Let, let, let me know what you think about uh, conference qualifying. As I said, it's the big kahuna of quality qualifying. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.